Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Isaiah 35, 3 through 6 says, Strengthen ye the weak hands, and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not, behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Encourage the weak ones. Strengthen the weak hands, confirm the feeble knees. I get in situations where I see people in despair. Whether they cause the problem or not is not my call. My call is to uh, lift up the low, to encourage and pray for the best outcome. The sad part is the judgment of other believers. How could you minister to that person? That person is me. There but for the grace of God go I. I have to read and reread these words. Strengthen the weak hands, confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, don't fear, your God will come. He'll take care of the situation. How can I do less than minister to others the grace that's given to me? See, I'm greatly flawed. I have no room to judge anyone else who sins differently than I sin. My calling is to minister to everyone and hope that God will visit their lives and draw them in by, by great grace and, and meet their needs. Romans, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. And in Romans 15, that we, we who are supposedly strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please our Cells. Each one of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. And then uh, Robert Kennedy it was who said, uh, Each time a man stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope, and crossing um, each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current that can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.